A teen with alleged ties to white nationalism and plotting to bomb religious sanctuaries is facing new charges. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brenda Medina. Let's get right to Local 23's Derek Garcia, who has been on this story for months. He's outside the Harlingen Police Department with the disturbing allegations. Derek. Harlingen Police Department is playing a critical role in this investigation as federal and prosecutors have handed down a six count indictment for Joel Hayden Shrimpshire. His case started right here. I would describe him as the perfect child. Joel Hayden Shrimpshire's father is describing his teenage son as perfect, but federal prosecutors and District Attorney Luis Sainz disagree. I mean, this gentleman is a real thing. You know, he had the, the ideology and the expertise to, to create a lot of, uh, to hurt a lot of people. The Harlingen Police Department first learned of the teen following a tip from federal agencies after Shrimpshire allegedly made threats on Twitter directed at religious groups from his Twitter account named Hayden Terrorist. If there's one, there could be more. Commander Dave Osborne, speaking one on one with Local 23, explained that this case is chilling. Harlingen is a safer place with him in custody. In his bedroom, investigators found explosive chemicals, props of Muslim and Jewish costumes, and white nationalist must-reads, including Hitler's Mein Kampf and the Turner Diaries. That's the book that inspired the Oklahoma City bombers, and also in his room, a carefully wrapped newspaper article of the bombing. This is somebody who is not only studying the craft of making explosives, mm -hmm. but um, in my mind, sort of relishing the fact that it, it could happen, it happened this way, and it, and it could happen again, and maybe that's a goal that he had at some point. This week, a six-count federal indictment was added to the 18-year-old's already existing state charges. The indictment, much like the charges from the Harlingen Police Department, alleged Shrimpshire was going to mail a bomb to the Federal Reserve, set a mosque on fire, and shoot at a synagogue. If he's convicted of the federal charges, Shrimpshire is facing up to 10 years in federal prison. Now, Shrimpshire remains in custody at this hour. The Harlingen Police Department and the Cameron County District Attorney Louis Sainz's office believe that if he was released on bond, he has the means and the ability to create a bomb in just a matter of days. Brenda? All right, Derek, thank you. We'll go ahead and stay on top of this case.